Hello everybody, this is the Mothership here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a free thumbnail guide for any, especially gaming, but any sort of YouTube thumbnail you want to make in any quality or even any image you want to make or edit. So the first thing you're going to do here is go to the site pixlr.com. That's P-I-X-L-R.com. Hit enter, and it'll bring you to this site. Now, it's sort of confusing at first because it's not just on the main page. You actually have to scroll down. So if we go down here, you have the Pixlr editor and you want to launch the web app. Now this is great because as it says here, there's a library, which is an online cloud that this site uses. It's sort of like Photoshop, but it has an online cloud. It's a little bit simpler to get the hang of. I use this for on the fly thumbnails, uh, video editing, if I need to take the background off an image, things like that. Um, just any, any photo editing, even like quick images for a picture of me. But opening from library means going to the cloud that they have. Now I'm going to create a new image, but you could also edit something that's already on your computer if you already have a background or you just want to make something look better. But we're going to create a new image and name it uh, Free Thumbnail Guide. Alright, so the presets here, um, for YouTube thumbnails, what you're going to do is use Movie 720p. You can use 1080 and usually it'll work, but I've run into issues with file sizes on 1080s because YouTube has a cap on how much file size you can have uploading and nobody can tell the difference in a thumbnail if it's 480 even but 720 is good just so you have enough pixels so no matter what even if it appears on a tv it'll look hd and nice so we're gonna use 720p you can also change it down here if you want to do like 1920 um by 1080 it would be like that but we're gonna use the preset movie 720p and i'm gonna make it transparent you don't have to it's just easier for you guys to see if i have a transparent background so here we see our canvas the navigator is um, what you use to navigate, believe it or not. It just shows you your main image, sort of a thumbnail preview. Um, it is a little bit darker, and it doesn't look like your YouTube thumbnail will exactly. So don't use it as too much of a reference, but it's sort of an easy way to tell if text is large enough, since it's a tiny window. Layers tells you the different images and texts and different files you have on top of each other and in what order. And history is just the latest actions you've performed. Now, I'm going to add in a couple images. I'm going to go through a quick guide of the silly little, like, easy tools that I use. Not all of the complicated stuff, especially these. These are the complicated things to use, and we only use those rarely because if I'm going to go complicated, I'll use Photoshop. So let's go over a couple of the easy things first. All right, so first things first, we're going to go to our layer option up here. You have this toolbar with all these things. Layer, and we're going to go down to open image as layer. So each layer represents a file or a set of files, maybe if they're merged together. We're going to open images layer and we're going to use um, our profile picture in 1080p. Okay, so this is a new layer. This is just a random image from my computer. So I thought it'd be a good one to use, my profile picture and everything. And we're going to go to the magic wand tool because I want to take off this background, this red background. This tolerance, I'll give you an example of what that does real quick. So if I click on my face, you can see it selects a really weird part of my face. That's just all the things that are sort of the same color, very similar, akin colors. Uh, if we click away, it'll deselect it. If we click off the canvas, if we click back on again, you'll see it selected the whole thing. That's because the tolerance is higher. If we go in the middle somewhere, it'll select more of my face. It's kind of, kind of intuitive. You get used to it after a while. But I'm going to set the tolerance pretty high here just because we're clicking on a very distinct, oop, not that high, distinct border between the red and the white. So we'll do that, and then I'm just going to hit delete on my keyboard, and it'll take all of that away, and we just have my picture. Now I'm going to do edit, free transform. So that's how you sort of, oops, that's how you change the size of things. Uh, actually, I'm going to do that. And you just go here, edit, free transform, and you have this. Now if you hold down shift, you can move, uh, you can scale the image like this without changing the dimensions of it. If you let go of shift, it'll do this weird thing where it squishes and stretches it which I don't like at all. Um, you can flip it and everything too, but there's easier ways to flip it, so don't do that. Um, we can zoom in on my eye. But I'm going to click off of the area. So if you just click outside the box and hit no, it'll undo it. But if you want to save it, like let's do that and then put me in the corner. Yes, there we go. I'm in the corner and I'm that layer. So if I want to add in another layer, say a background um, or a gradient in the background, gradients are great. Let's go to layer zero and we click on the gradient tool. Now, up here, you can select your gradient, you can select the opacity of it, but I'm just going to use a very simple one. Um, let's go with sort of a, hmm, how's about this one right here? 
Now let's sort of do just a long gradient. So you just click in any corner and drag to another corner, kind of like this, and it'll put down a gradient. Beautiful, shiny. Personally, um, I don't really love this one. Uh, it's kind of weird. So we're going to change it up a bit. We're going to tilt it. Nice. Click off. Oh, yeah. To tilt, you... Um, can we just... Can we... I made that too big. Okay. No. Edit. Free transform. To tilt, you click on the corner and you turn it like this. Uh, you don't need to hold on shift for that. But I'm going to make that bigger again and just sort of tilt it off center so that we can see. There we go. Our beautiful gradient. Okay, we're going to change up a little bit more with this gradient, um, just with the color hue and saturation under adjustment. This one's really useful. You just go hue, let's make it, um, actually, you know, I like the hue of it. Maybe make it a little pinker. Nice. Saturation, mm, let's desaturate it a little bit so it doesn't overpower too much. Let's go negative eight. And lightness wise, um, I think we're about good. Up. Eh, maybe three. Make it a little lighter. There we go. We got a nice background. Let's add some text over this. So we're going to go up to this first layer so that the next layer comes in on top of it. And we're going to open image as layer. Let's go with this text. You can make text in Photoshop and import it in, but I assume if you're using this, you don't have Photoshop. So just, you know, use an online text program or use the text in this program. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. So let's edit, free transform this text and make it. Uh, you know what, this this is great and all, but it's not. So we're going to go with no actually real quick. And we are going to drag this over and use the, oops, use the cropping tool or the constraint tool to select guide. Now it doesn't matter that I'm overlapping the other layers because I'm only on this layer. I'm going to hit control X and control V. And there we go. We have guide. And on this layer, we have free thumbnail. Let's edit free transform. Actually... Yeah, yep, yeah, let's edit free transform this. And turn it a little bit, maybe make it a little taller. Perfect, free thumbnail guide. Ta-da, it says what we need it to say. Now, that's that's nice, but we can make the background look a little better, maybe with a layer, open images layer, and a sunburst. Sunbursts are wonderful. Oh, so you see that's in front of my picture. I don't want it there. I don't want it in front of free thumbnail. I don't want it in front of my profile picture. So we're just gonna select this. I'm going to drag it down here below. There we go, it's behind. And we're going to edit, free transform, and let's just make this sort of, whoops, actually, let's let's zoom out first. Let's just make it much bigger so it goes through everything. Yes, zoom in, click on this. If we go down to here, this is the opacity bar. We can make it less opaque, so it just doesn't show up quite as much. Wonderful. We got free thumbnail guide. Genius. If you want to merge layers together, so here's the guide layer or the free thumbnail layer, here's the guide layer. You can right click, merge down, and it'll merge into the layer below it. And bada bing, they're linked together. So you can, you know, put them wherever you want now. Okay, so we have our thumbnail. I'm going to go a little bit over a couple more of the features. If you guys want me to cover this more in another video, let me know. I will try to make this a more detailed tutorial. This is just sort of showing you the site I use so you can tinker with it. This is the crop tool, crops things out. Mouse tool uh, to move things. Lasso for selecting. Marquee for selecting as well. It's just like the square you saw me using the text earlier. The wand tool is, you saw that one used. These ones are fairly pragmatic. Um, pencil, drawing, brush for drawing. Eraser, erases. Paint bucket tool, that's just like in paint.net that you used so long ago. It fills things in. Gradients, we used the this stamp I don't use, but squares, you can draw like squares, circles, uh, ellipses. Things like that, lines, just by selecting up here. I don't use any of these, and I don't recommend you do either, because these don't do a terribly great job. This is sort of just a quick and dirty on-the-fly uh, photo editing program. The color picker is great for selecting color. So you can see we have our palette here. If I click here and got some of the hue of my shirt, it's now blue here. So that would be what I could draw with and just like put letters in the background. Okay. The text tool, uh, the zoom tool, I don't, we don't use that, and the hand those are the most useful things I use. So let's just go to our uh, adjustments. These are all the adjustments that you can use. Um, filters as well um, for that Instagram style crap. If you want to use it, they're kind of fun. Some of them, uh, vignette is a cool one. Let's put that on there. Why not? There we go, vignette. Um, 
file save to get rid of to get this finished or you know upload it to where you want to get it you got to save it so go to file save and you're going to save it to my computer unless you want to try the cloud storage if you want to try the cloud storage go to the pixlr library but i'm going to save it just to my computer i'm going to name it free thumbnail guide that's perfect let's go to a png image because that's what we want that's a transparent and full quality as you can see here you're going to want to export everything you can in png unless you're really concerned about file sizes but they're images they're not like movies so free thumbnail guide good you hit okay 768 kilobytes that's well within youtube's like i think it's like a two megabyte limit for thumbnails and let's just save it to here on our computer the pixlr thumbnail guide perfect okay free thumbnail guide.png already exists you want to replace it that's my text file so um free thumbnail guide thumbnail perfect you can rename it in here as well and make sure it's png save it and you got your image. It's now saved to your computer in the location that you specified. Hope this video helped you. If it did, please leave it a like. If it didn't, please leave it a dislike. If you hate me for no apparent reason and you don't really know why, like my hair looks bad or something, even though there wasn't a face cam, please leave a dislike for that as well. Questions, comments, suggestions, and criticism are always welcome. And don't forget to join the fleet by subscribing if you want to see some daily uploads on awesome games. See you in the next video, guys. Peace out.